Dark Souls 3 is the best Souls game. In all seriousness, though, this game is absolutely amazing. Let's get all the fluff out of the way. This game looks great. It's got tight controls. It's got a great story. But what's really freaking awesome about this game is the goddamn bosses. This is my personal tier list of the bosses. Completely objective, not personal at all. This is the first boss of the game. He's a giant knight. You walk up, you pull a huge sword out of his chest, and then he gets up and he proceeds to beat the ever-living daylights out of you. And if that wasn't enough, when you get him to halfway through his health bar, he turns into a giant void snake monster. I mean, of course, this is the first boss after all. But when you finally do beat him, I can tell you the first time when I went through this, I felt ecstatic. This game is incredible for that feeling. This game knows exactly when to beat you down and when to make you feel like a goddamn champion. If you ever wanted to play a game where you're somebody and you're swinging around just the biggest swords you've ever seen, this is the game for you. This game has so many cool weapons, so many different playstyles. Like, you can get this giant scythe, you can uh, parry, uh, as you can see, I'm really good at that. I can't do it often, but when I do, man, does that feel good. Some of these bosses are great, like, I can do for it first try every time. But then I go and I try to do the dancer early, and she, uh, uh, she beats the ever-living crap out of me. But that's why I love this game so much. A lot of Dark Souls fans... When people ask for help or whatever, they would tell them, just get good. And that used to frustrate me so much because I was looking for help and I could never get it. But honestly, after playing through Dark Souls 3 again recently, I don't think there's any better advice you could give someone other than get good. This game is an art that you need to perfect, and I'm nowhere even close to that. And I'm able to beat the game, and there's some people like my friend, he just went through the whole game with the demon fists. Okay, so there's clearly a high skill ceiling to be reached with this game, and that's why I love it so much, because it rewards you for playing well, it rewards you for coming back and trying your hardest. So that's why, for the first official Nate's Greats ever, Dark Souls 3 is getting a 9 out of 10. And you might think, oh wow, that's pretty high, and it is. But I think this game is deserving of it. And when you see some of the other games that I'm going to be doing with this, you're going to realize we got some big dogs on the list. And there's some really, really big, big, big dogs on this list. So thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, check out Dark Souls 3. It's an amazing game. Um, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.